We are radiologists who have had additional training in the invasive procedures in radiology. We treat a whole wide variety of medical conditions uh, in both men and women and even children, um, but basically diseases of the vascular system, so we fix aneurysms of the aorta or blockages in the carotid arteries, for example. Cancer is a large part of the work that we do here at Freydert, for example, treating tumors that can't be surgically resected, so we treat them with a variety of different techniques. Some of those same techniques are, are the same things that we use for treating fibroids, for example. Embolization is the delivery of particles through a catheter in the arterial system that blocks the blood supply to the fibroids. Once that happens, the fibroids shrink or scar down. The symptoms are really either significant bleeding, so heavy, painful periods, or what we call mass or bulk-related symptoms. Both of those two symptoms are treated very well with fibroid embolization. The scarring, the shrinking of the fibroid um, causes relief of those symptoms in anywhere from 80, maybe 90 percent of women who have this procedure done. We see these women in our clinic in consultation, either on referral from a primary care doctor, from a gynecologist, or a lot of these women come to us in self-referral. They read about us or hear about us uh, uh, and come in and seek us out for advice uh, in terms of what can be done, what sort of treatments are out there. Most women are in their 40s. Their symptoms are such that they really think that they need to do something for relief. They also tend to be women who really don't want to have a major surgical procedure. In addition to just the initial consultation where we would meet the patient, try and get a sense for how bad their symptoms are, and also get a sense for their expectations, um, certainly an MRI is very useful in the majority of patients uh, in whom we're considering embolization. It's a procedure that, first of all, doesn't require a general anesthetic. It's done under a mild sedative and some local anesthesia. Um, typically takes an hour or so to perform the procedure and then the women are admitted overnight for observation and then usually discharged home the next day. The success rates from embolization actually tend to be very good for symptomatic fibroids. Uh, there have been a lot of studies done on this technique, on this way of treating fibroids, and overall the success rates range in the 80 to 90 percent range with a recent study um, showing that really between 82 and 85 percent of women are satisfied and would have this done again. I've had 10 years of experience um, in doing these types of procedures um, and it's really just it's a cumulative experience I think in seeing patients with a whole wide variety of medical issues and problems that can be treated in a minimally invasive fashion. I bring my own expertise, my fellowship training and, and my background to it but it really is a team. You know, there are four of us uh, full-time interventional radiologists on faculty. We're all fellowship trained. We have decades of experience uh, between us. Um, we have our own clinic. We have our own nurses. We have our own inpatient admitting and consultative services. Um, we have nurse practitioners uh, who work with us. It's really a very uh, streamlined, very exciting, exciting place to work. I feel privileged to come to work every day. I think that using my training and my experience to help someone with a significant uh, health issue get better and get back on their feet uh, through these minimally invasive techniques is, is very rewarding.